and his wife. Whoa, wait a minute. What? Is that the guy she can do? I mean, no offense, but every fairy tale starts off with once upon a time. I mean, where is the originality? I'm trying to tell the story of the film Oh, that one? Let me tell you, they got that story all wrong. Well, then, maybe you would like to tell it. No, you just keep going, and I'll tell you we make a mistake. <laughs> Great. Anyway, as I was saying, once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a good man and his wife. They lived in a quaint little house in the country. It was a nice house except for one small problem. Did you hear about the witch? No. What? Well, it seems that she's moved in right next to that quaint little house in the country. That's right. The witch had moved in right next door. No. Next to those two dear people? Yes. Do you think we should warn them? I'm sure they already know. See, like that. Why do people always think witches are bad? It's a fairy tale. All witches are bad in fairy tales. Now, please pay attention. Look, here comes the man of the house. Excuse me, sir, but did you know that the witch just moved in next door to you? Which witch? The witch. Oh, you mean the witch with the stitch? No, she means the witch with the itch, not the witch with the stitch. Well, which witch is the witch? I mean, which witch is the witch next door? The horrible mean witch who grows radishes. Oh, that witch. Yes, that witch! Oh my, I better get home and tell my wife. She loves radishes, and that's wrong, because the witch, I mean, oh, never mind. Who wrote this stuff? <laughs> So the man rushed home to his wife, who at the time was pregnant with their first child. Suddenly, the witch 
she comes down and grabs it. Oh. Ah! Wait a minute, that's not how it happened. <laughs> The witch thought he was a prowler and tapped him on the shoulder. Ah. If she thought he was a prowler, then why didn't she call the police? Um, this is a fairy tale. There are no police. Can you call yourself a narrator? Ooh, I... Well, however it happened, <laughs> the witch caught him stealing. What are you doing? I, my wife, I'm pregnant. Please, I um, don't put a spell on me. Yes, and she, she wants your rashes or she says she'll die. Well, why didn't you just tell me? I would have given you some. Oh, well, may I have some? On um, one condition. You give me your first child. So the man agreed. Hold oh, up, well, that's not how it happened. Well, that's what she said. Yeah, but everyone always cuts her off on her speech. There is more of that statement. As a point student, I've always wanted to teach someone how to sing. See? Good grief. So the man agreed with the witch and brought the radishes back home to his wife. When they had their child, they named her Rapunzel. And as promised, the father took Rapunzel to the witch for singing lessons. Oh, really? Then how do you explain them never seeing Rapunzel again? I was getting sad. On the way home, Rapunzel's mother decided to stop up for some chicken. <laughs> Unfortunately, she choked on the chicken bone and died. <coughs> Rapunzel. 